Youngstown City Council voted not to renew the liquor licenses of two city establishments. But Torch Bar Cl Club, Torch Club Bar and Grill, the scene of a deadly shooting less than two weeks ago, wasn't one of them. Tonight we hear from the bar's owner for the first time during that council meeting. Chris Serenelli has more on what the owner had to say after the violence and why council recommended to uphold that liquor license. We do not believe that we are the cause of those events. A week and a half after the deadly shooting at the Torch Bar in Youngstown, its owner pleaded her case with city council before their vote whether to object to renewing the liquor permit there. If we were to lose the liquor license associated with the Torch, this would not only affect our own livelihood but of our family, but of the local employees who work for our business. The motion went down to defeat five to two. But just minutes prior, council voted to not renew the liquor permits at all city on the Lower West Side and the downtown Circle convenience store. Rationale First Ward Councilman Julius Oliver took issue with. Since I've been on council, it's been mainly black and brown business establishments that have gone up for revoking their licenses. Even though you have similar or the same situation having happened at some white owned establishments. That sparked conversation among council, the law department and the police chief about deciding which establishments should or should not have their liquor permits revoked. There are places that um, caused significant disruption to the neighborhood or the surrounding area, took an inordinate amount of police response time. Council and the police chief agreed to form a committee to more closely look at the matter in the future, but that wasn't enough to convince some members of council that they'd made the right decision when it came to the torch. It deeply saddens me that my colleagues did not support the objection to the liquor license of the torch bar. I apologize to my constituents. I felt like I failed them today. Other business tonight saw council okay the paying for the cost of the demolition of the old Anthony's on the River building. That adds up to about $48,000. Council also passed a measure to bring electric vehicle charging stations to downtown, as well as the new purchase of new police cruisers. Aaron and Derek.